Welcome to Healings and Meditations with Frank Jordan and the Earth Mind Think Tank Group. We welcome all listeners and chatters. Any questions can be called in to 1-775-657-5973. 1-775-657-5973. If you're in the chat room on Wolf Spirit Radio, which is wolfspiritradio.com forward slash wolf chat, please post questions in uppercase letters, in capital letters. Thank you. Now on with the show. You're listening to Wolf Spirit Radio. March the 30th, 2014, Wolf Spirit Radio, No Borders Radio, everybody on radio.com. This is Healings and Meditations with Frank Jordan and the Earth Mind Think Tank Group, and we got a nice, a nice plump group here today. Uh, and we've sorted out all my internet problems, so we should be on a really clear line. Because I've got a feeling you've got something really important to say tonight, Frank. I do. Ooh, yummy. I love your precognition there. Oh, we can feel it. There's something building up. I, I feel that something is happening this month, galactic uh, proportions. So, so on you go. All right. Well, I just, I've been having that feeling also, and... Uh, I had an incredible day today, which I'll share in a bit. But uh, uh, right now, looking at at the uh, astrological influences, we have two squares, I see. And um, Mike, you might want to take a look at those later and see if it's anything meaningful for us in our discussion, if you could. And, well, nice to be with everyone again. Spring is definitely here. It's such a beautiful day. Just since this morning, it's cleared up, and we had good rain here, probably two-thirds of an inch of rain in the northwest. How's it been on the southern states down there? Um, we're having some rain coming on Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. Did you have any this past few days? Um, not the past few days. We did have a little bit very lightly earlier in the week last week, I believe, yeah. kind of losing track of time. Well, um, that, that southern flow that we were working with last week, when we were trying to bring in there, we did a little too good a job and went too far south, <laughs> went through Mexico, did a wonderful job for them. But that did allow this northern uh, flow to drop down further and, and help northern California. So that was beneficial. So onward and upward. Well, this is an interesting day for me. Uh, I had a ton of confirmations in the last few days. The reason being is that um, someone asked me some time ago if, if I'd ever listened to any of Greg Braden's work or read his books. And I had years and years and years ago when he was first starting out. But I hadn't listened to any of his um, YouTube presentations so I did this last few days and I was just absolutely blown away because his work and what he talks about is just virtually exactly the same as what we do and I'd had no no contact with him or his work prior to that or anything that I could could really relate to and so uh, I, I really got interested and got into it and our terminology is a little different of, of course because he reaches back and uh, his motive for the last 20 years has, has been to go to all the old ancient sites and and um, dig out the ancient traditions and like in, <clears throat> with the uh, Tibetans and the Chinese and and India and, and uh, our American Indians everywhere there's any ancient traditions of anything of spirituality and healing he's, he's dove into them and co coalesced it into a, a great understanding of how it works and so um, it was delightful for me to see that we, we're doing the same thing virtually identically and he's bringing it from the ancient traditions forward as I brought it in intuitively and uh, from my own inner knowing and my own experimentations and being told what to do when things came up. 
So that's great confirmation for us where we are. Well, I think we've taken a step further because we are we are actively working with the Earth energies, and uh, I have not heard of him or did not observe him um, participating too much in those uh, Earth healing and whatnot. Have any of you seen in any of his work where the, he works with Earth energies, with healing the Earth as we do? I know I heard a couple of you mention some time ago that you loved Greg Braden, and that's what triggered me to, to look at his work. I'm sure, Diane, uh, um, you Frank? know about it. Frank? Yeah. Uh, I came across Greg Braden about 1998 or 9, um, and was fascinated by what he said. I bought his book because he said the world would... Um, do something flip so in 2001 in fact in june 2001 uh something else happened to the world <laughs> a few months later but uh he said that there would be this uh, great cataclysm in 2001 but it didn't happen but um his, his stuff was quite interesting though uh you know every time everybody every time somebody says a date it's bound to go go a bit awry but he had some very interesting things to say and it has some of his thinking has infused my uh, thinking is about healing uh, you know particularly about the practicality of it and, and the reality of it and how it might work mm-hmm. well it's not new knowledge he's bringing forward the old ancient knowledge which was here all the time and should have we should have had for the last 400 years had not religion and and the scientists inter- interfered and directed us away from that into the, the mental um, healing and and uh, all of that kind of thing I see Diane just came on we were talking about Greg Braden Diane and uh, 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 the question was that I posed earlier are you aware of him working with earth energies like we do or have an understanding about them Um, Greg Braden uh, I have not put that together with him but I could look into that a little bit more and find out okay Rachel I think you liked him too yeah, what comes to me when you speak of him is um, he had something so profound. I, I I can't recall now. It was like, was it from China and the Chinese healers? Yes. And then they showed how they healed it almost like very quickly. On the video. While they had the tumor on the, yeah, while they had the tumor on the ultrasound, he was, they were projecting positive energy and seeing the positive uh, perfection. And, yeah, and it manifested. Yeah, mm-hmm. but they were also saying specific words and in specific orders, so almost in a toning type manner of prayer. Yeah, and he he also relates to uh, the language of DNA and how DNA responds to our intent and our language, and so that was fascinating to me because you recall that's something I've been talking about also. So anyway, uh, it, it was great for me to have that confirmation. And um, it was interesting, about oh, 4 o'clock this afternoon, I started to get hit with, with an energy flow. I call it getting hit when it just feels like I'm trying to go to sleep and that energy is pushing in the top of my head. So um, I... I went in to sit down, opened up in meditation, and an intense flow came down into the left side of my head. But all the time, my inner voice was speaking to me and uh, giving a, a lecture, as it does, usually at 4 o'clock in the morning, telling me how this all works and pulling what he, he, he has done or what he knows together with what we know. And it is a beautiful lecture. I wish I could record those things because it said it very explicitly, but it comes out as I need it. And uh, But anyway, I realized that was coming in from what he calls the, 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 the mental level and uh, or how I relate to the high self. He relates it to it as, as thought, 
um, emotion and feeling. Feeling being the heart center. Thought being the, the, the high self. Uh, feeling being the low self and the heart. No, no, feeling is, is the, the middle self, the heart and, uh, emotion, the low self. And that relates it, it, with understanding interpretation directly with the way we work too. Uh, I, I do like our process a little better of, of understanding how to access the subconscious mind to set that up. Because he, uh, he indicates that the, uh, intent to heal or to work out through what he calls the matrix, which I call the subtle energy field, um, that resonates through the heart. And that's what we say too. We work with high self and the low self positive and negative polarity, male and female, and we pull it together at, at, into the form of what we want to express or relate or do as we do our healing work. And then what he calls compassion is that intent that we send out and we feel it go out through our hearts. And I'd heard the Dalai Lama mention compassion too, and I never really related what they were talking about. What, they're, they, what they mean by compassion is not being in sympathy of someone or feeling bad about their situation it, it has to do with with resonating with them um, being in a flow of oneness with them opening up the channels to them and so that's exactly what we do when when we pull in the galactic flow and it comes down through and our hands heat up and by the way my hands are heating up right now are yours? does anyone have your hands heating up? As we speak about this, this always happens. As soon as I get into these, explaining how these things work, my hands heat up. The and very center of my palms always, um, whenever you ask that, they, it's like a flame comes on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I notice about five seconds before you ask, I start to notice it. Or maybe even two seconds before, and then you ask. <laughs> I just picked up my teacup and my hands are hot as you said it. So, yeah. <laughs> Well, it, that's us going into compassion, into, into resonance, into our group mind field that we've created, our morphogenic field of, of healing. And this is what we're resonating out through Wolf Fear Radio to everyone out there who is listening. They can pick up that flow of compassion. So that's a nice round word and explains it very well. So that's what we'll use from now on. I like that. So... Um, Everyone out there that, whose hands are getting hot have, have the realization now that the Wolf Spirit Radio Group here in their unified field of compassion is resonating through the airways because of our intent and our hookup through JP and Wolf Spirit Radio. And around the world, we are creating a resonance, a, a resonant flow of, of potentiality, a potential uh, potentially being able to do things in the physical world and the mental emotional world and, and, uh, everywhere else that, that matter is pulled into form in the standing waves of consciousness. And so, uh, let's just, let's just stay open now and generating as we discuss this and how we, we feel when we do things and, and so people out there listening can get a better understanding that what we're doing is, is fits right in. It is coming from the ancient techniques, the ancient healers, um, the Egyptians, all the old ancient healers going back for thousands, thousands, thousands of years knew how to do this. And Greg Braden is bringing these forward and teaching just like we are and using them to heal with. Primarily, I think he's, he does more teaching than anything else. He's telling people how it works, and, and I like that. Um, but what, what I'm doing is bringing it through from uh, the direct source of the galactic flow, we call them, and the tones are in, that we listen to are enhancing this also. The tones are also stimulating our DNA so that as we do this, we're getting more and more powerful all the time. And that's why I, I, I want to bring the tones in more into our, into our expanded, um, Wolf Spirit radio program, because they come in quite frequently and work with us in, in our stellar group. 
uh, when we do our private talks. I think we can begin to share this more now, particularly because I have the understanding of what's going on. And and uh, anyway, to finish my story, after this flow came in, and I listened to that for a while, then another flow came into the right side of the brain because this first flow is all in the left side. Uh, and coming in as, as the balanced polarity, which in the right side of the brain is the female side, uh, there I felt tremendous compassion and empath- empathy and em- empathetic empathetic attachment to everything we wanted to reach out and touch. So with that balance of the male-female polarity, I had within myself the potential of reaching out into my heart center and um, sending that, that empathy out to anybody in the world that I want to through through Earth mind, through my low self. And that's exactly how it works. We are becoming incredible uh, resonators or grounders or what would be a good word for that? Um, transformers, trans, transmitters of these right. energy fields. What? I found something earlier, and this is the first message that I got from my guides um, in 1988. And I made I made a recording of what it sounded like, and it was, it's really quick, only about 10 seconds. So uh, have a listen to this. I say that, and, <laughs> oh, I know why, because I have to mount the drive, because I had to reboot the computer, that's why I, <laughs> so that was uh, not very, there we go, so we're just mounting that computer, that drive, and there it's available to us, now we can do it, it sounds like this. Energy, transforming energy. That's what it sounded like. That was my the the, the first sound of what what my uh, guide sounded like. Mm-hmm. Do you have okay. Do you get a similar kind of? I mean, does anybody does well, that sound familiar we, to anyone? We get more of the uh, earth sounds, water flowing, wind blowing, uh, the uh, uh, the pulse of earth, the heartbeat of the earth, and uh, a, a lot of just strange frequencies that come in. And and um, we learned, gosh, a year and a half or better ago, to just sit back and listen and let those work on our systems, because they they stimulated our system and did clearing work, and so uh, we we have enough of them on tape now that we can begin by using those probably if we can't get them to come in directly, but I'm thinking we may try to do some of this later on in the program here. Um, so let's see was there anything else I wanted to tell you oh when I had that balance feeling between the male and female side this afternoon uh, when the flow came in uh, I, an incredible light grew me in me it just it's like my heart just turned into light and it swelled out it felt like it was boundless it went on forever and uh, I've had that state before, but I could never hold it. But right now, uh, even though I, I'm not really clairvoyantly seeing the light, I'm feeling that resonance come out. And this is another thing, too, that Greg mentioned. He, he said something about uh, what we're here to do is unify the, the thought, intent, with the heart um, feeling, and emotion. When we can unify those all into one field, that's when we, that's what we come in to do. And although he didn't get in too much into what, what to do with that or where we're going with all that, except that he said it is going to change the world, um, I did get into it. I, I was able to listen then to my inner voice speaking and uh, it showed me what's coming. And it is delightful. It is a new world we're looking at, folks, and it's coming very rapidly. And our participation in it through these residents and through Wolf Spirit Radio and wherever we reach out through the rest of the the world is incredibly important. This, I'm, can any of you feel right now, just open up your heart centers and 
feel this light pouring out of my heart. Yes. All right, you amplify that, Kathy, and I, I know you would because you hold it all the time. Everyone else, just open up this light now, just amplify it, let it become the living light as you unify your high self, your middle self, your low self, and all your realms of potentials and possibilities. And extend this outward into the morphogenic field of the Wolf Spirit Radio audience and to everyone that has listened at any time to a Wolf Spirit Radio program where we were doing the healing work. Everybody get out of your heads and go sit in your heart and feel it. Just go sit in your heart and feel your heart open and receive. Transceivers, that's the word I was trying to think of. Yeah, and often you um, uh, represent, in the science, you represent um, trans by X. So you see XMTR stands for transmitter. So trans is the x and when you just asked that i I was having i can feel my connection in my heart between my monad which i visualize above my head coming down and the earth mind which i visualize below my feet coming up uh and my soul energy which is spinning around in my heart uh and i saw this kind of blue x uh it's like all the energy is pouring from. It's like the, the they're all they're all flowing in all the different directions. Um, and so it's a good thing I had crystals in my hand, beaming that out, as you say. So I'm going to continue doing that. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, all of you who have crystals at this time, take them in your hands. With your the points pointing outward, so we'll resonate this outward into. The group mind consciousness, and and for me the the point the other end of the crystal is pointed towards my heart the cent that central point. Right. Now, since we have this much power coming through us. Rachel, I th- if we can get the tones to come in and amplify it, I, I would love that. C- can you use your your toner, your uh, bowl? in the background. Rachel, can you give us a tone that might start it off? Okay. Go in the heart space. Thank you. That so spoke to all the feelings. Yeah, I can hear the tones and feel them coming through. You know, we're like children to them. They they don't always serve us as we would like or 
or expect them to, but they make us do it. And that's exactly what's happening here. They're letting us grow by doing it ourselves. So let's create a resonance of the tones that Rachel brought through us. Around the world, clearing, clearing the, the domination energy, the opposition force. Oh, yes. uh, Julia, would you mind muting your mic? Uh, control and M will do that thing. practice using this because we're in the field we have the power we can do good work now so let's practice compassion Diane would you like to explain about your friend well it's my uh, tenant's boyfriend and he's ex-military can you hear me okay I've got a new mic are you able to hear me? Yeah. Okay. So he's ex-military. He's over here all the time. Uh, he's starting to get more and more agitated and angry, um, having violent uh, arguments over there and serious lack of respect. And I'm just kind of worried for the woman. And, of course, the energy in my property is... <laughs> is um, not great right now so all day I've been working on settling the energy working with earth mind bringing uh, the harmony back around the animals and around my property and directing it towards him but I I doused a few questions about working with him and I was told that I needed help and so I psychically connected with all of you earlier today and, and uh, brought some energy through and things have settled down for right now, but um, I think there's more going on with him than. than All I'm right, now we to want do. to just wrap Diane in our compassion and have her directed to the to the fellow and to the circumstances and everywhere she needs healing down there or re requests healing of anything, particularly the earth mind energies. Here we go. So we're attuning with him. The first thing we have to do is clear some entities. So we clear those. And the second thing is we will clear the trauma that he carries with him every moment of every day. Because it's subconscious mind that there's not no time or space. And it's subconscious think is in the survival mode, total fear because, uh, um, the Afghanistan situation is, is still around him. So we clear that off. We just neutralize that with an energy flow. Through the power that cries within us, we clear and release his shock and trauma from Afghanistan. Releases it being stuck in that time space that he can't get out of. We clear him, taking forward in time without the fear, the anger, and the rage. We tell his low self, 
he no longer needs to fight because there's nothing to fight in this reality he has nothing to fear see the power of the crisis in us we see him in the perfect and normal condition as well as he can be and we bring in a flow bring in the galactic flow to neutralize and clear and take him to his next steps of growth and evolutionary consciousness and if clear and protecting Diane and her property and her space and earth mind and we bring in through his crown chakra now a flow from over soul all the way down to his heart center and up from earth mind the intent to create the compassion in his heart compassion to come back into the human consciousness again and to rejoin his life and his spiritual flow so he can progress and move ahead in this lifetime and we extend this flow this field we've created around him out through the resonance with compassion and love and understanding to every other vet in a similar situation feel your flows open up now galactic flow intensify releasing them from the hell they live in touching them with compassion from the heart seeing them in perfection through the power of the cards within us we, we clear and release this war and all wars from human consciousness we clear earth mind that holds the shock and trauma the Kasich records that keep reinciting the wars Frank? Yes. Does he have a, an artificial leg? Yes, he does. Because uh, I'm really picking up on that, is that that is the focus of his feeling. I think it may be causing him some discomfort, but he hates it, hates it, hates it, hates it, hates it, and he can't do anything about it. And there's this ter- terrible sense of... of, of anger and sadness that he can't do anything about it he's weak, weak and powerless to do anything about something like that but that his power is being taken away that this is what i'm, I'm feeling from him it, I, I, I was, i've been in tears I mean, it's, it's really 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 sad he's really yeah, sad. Yeah. Um, uh, but what happens is is they come home with such shock and trauma and there's no one here to get to get them back on their path again and they use this as an excuse to be in the state that they're in and, and to have rage and anger and hate and all of this stuff when there's really the challenge to them is to grow beyond it and so we send the challenge the empowerment to everyone caught in this situation to grow and mature and move beyond it and 
love the leg, appreciate the fact that you can walk at all. Yeah, I'm wondering if there's some way you can somehow bring uh, a loving attention to the leg. I mean, I, I'm just thinking like like a badge or a, a, a sticker or a, a, a sock or something to make him feel that it's part of him. I think that's right. it. It's like alien invasion in his I've body. I've done this yeah. before. We, we, we put our hands on each side of the leg now and we resonate love into the elementals, the elements in his leg, whether it's plastic or steel or whatever, it'll hold this energy we're escalating in it, that the leg loves him, wants to help him, wants to nurture him, and stimulate his loving appreciation of it, gratitude for it also. Frank? I also get that there's a distortion of his uh, his divine masculine self. He, he's distorted as to what masculine energy is between feeling less than and also feeling aggression because of the way he's been trained. He's lost something. Yes. It, it, it's all tied in with his self-worth. So we wrap him in a field and all these individuals in a field of gratitude and appreciation for the contribution they made regardless of how useless it was and that's another thing they felt like it was a useless war and it was all wars are useless so we appreciate and, and send them the gratitude and love for their efforts so they can regain their self-worth, their manliness, and a point and purpose in life. Empower them now with being able to feel the desire to experience life again to the fullest, as many people do who have artificial limbs or This gives it, this is the challenge is, is to, to evolve beyond the hang up of the limitation to the potential of what his life can be. I think the, the focusing on the mantra, it's designed to help you. It, it, rather than it being an obstacle or a thing, it's there to help you. Uh, you're just spot on there. I have to say, I'm in tears feeling this metal right. place where my nervous system, my etheric body says there should be a foot. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really emotional. I can, I'm, tears are flowing down my cheeks, uh, feeling into this guy. It's such right. a depth it, of sadness. The etheric f- foot and, and leg is still there. So we send the healing into it. And give it its a life, the etheric, the etheric form of the leg. We give it a, a feeling and of life and vitality, so he does not miss the leg. It's his left leg, isn't it, Diane? Yeah, I'm not sure. I what? don't really know. I don't really know which leg it is. Oh, I feel <laughs> we like haven't seen it in shorts. It, uh, I just get the feeling it, that he, it makes him feel powerless as a man and he's been trained yes. that this is what men do in this way and because he can't, he's, he's not a man. He's not enough of a man. So it's back to... Actually, Frank, maybe you could talk about this. What it is to be divine masculine, not to be a soldier, but how to be a warrior. Oh, this is so uh, emotional for me. I'm, I mean, uh, really intense. Uh, we're we're doing the same thing we do with the clearing the way process now, through our empathy, our resonance, 
our compassion were becoming him and were feeling exactly what JP described and we're pushing this out and we have the right and permission to do this because his oversoul agrees to it so we push out the patterns the frustration, the fear release it clear it out out of the subconscious mind also the shock and the trauma the frustration the feeling, the useless feeling the emasculation of his manhood and extend this out to everyone in the field who is suffering any one or all of these symptoms we extend it out and feel the wave going out to everyone out there now who is a vet clear the patterns subconscious please release the de- the dependence on the patterns so they don't have to they don't have to compete and succeed because of their fear of failure release that We also assign an elemental to each one of them to help guide them to to more creative thought and self-worth and vitality. Elementals, we give you the energy, we give you the, the intent, we give you the form for you to continue to nurture and care for this being now and all of these beings this is like creating angels now further elementals please tune in the God Force Consciousness and into the soul flow the soul stream of all these beings and uh, direct the soul flow stimulate the soul flow the, the soul twins the soul family to support and empower this being and all these beings to bring them back into the light of life Oh, that feels powerful. So they know they're not alone, they're not isolated. Their soul family and their human families are empowering. Their relationships, their friends are empowering. Not enabling, but empowering them. To the power of the Christ within us. Sustain, sustain, sustain. And so it is. Wow. Thank you very, very much, all of you. I've been howling like a baby. But it's come to a calm place. He's, he's so it's grief he's not able to express his grief as a man without punching or hurting or hit it's part of the mind control that they're put to their grief yeah. is is channeled into rage i can and, hear it in the tone of his voice yeah when he, when he yells he's got a yelp to it that's just it tears my heart yeah uh, it's, it's uh, yeah, and and well, we'll see what happens, Frank. Well, I'll tell you what's happening. We created a reality shift for him, and uh, Diane, your your tenant, and you 
I, I don't know if you can talk to me about this or not, but just yeah. being yeah. encouraging. Yeah. You can help him heal. Yes. He, he needs to release his grief and know what it is to be a man. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> and do you know really? That's everybody. That's why that's why men are so cr cruel and controlling. Exactly, precisely because that, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is this is this is touching some very deep, uh, raw emotions for me. And I think it's it's more than me. It's like this is this is what this is the problem that we're not allowed to grieve over, and that is what holds the form of the male domination matrix. Would you agree, Frank? Perfect. Thank you. All right, hold that thought in mind. And flow compassion into it. And send it out around the world to heal all of those who have those symptoms. The world does not have to suffer. <sighs> All right, guys, this is good work, and we'll do more of this, too. Absolutely. Love you all. Okay, Diane. Um, anything else? Let's clear, oh. the, let's clear the tenet of her fear. It's conflicting. Oh, that great. It's yeah. conflicting with her love. So. We'll direct you the energy and you do that. You know what to do. Okay. I'm just putting my arms around her and I'm holding my crystals so I can just shower her completely. She's having a lot of heart pain. Heart. This has been going on for a few months, so she's been... Uh, She's been holding on to a lot of anger, too, and it's really hurting her. Okay. I'm encouraging self-love. I think there's another grief issue here that she's not able to express her grief in some way and so it's coming out badly and that's where all the problems lie that's what I'm picking up it's it's un unexpressed grief good god what a, what is it's it's like a huge sh hmm, not a champagne bottle uh pressurized canister of grief well, they haven't been together very long, but they did have plans to move to Washington State together, and it fell through. And I think part of his rage, she's blaming herself, that she acted according to her heart and felt she shouldn't go. And so now he didn't go either, and it's just going around and around. Who's, whose fault everything is? There you go. There you go. So, I don't know. Can you take her aside and tell her how to do the hope about hope, 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 hope. Um, forgiveness thing? Oh, no, oh, no. Yes, I may, I may be able to speak with her. She's, she's uh, a little bit more open. I'll try that. Yeah. Diane, they are tenants on your property. Yes, there's a small house next to mine that, that she's renting. He's not a tenant. Okay. So not. you, because you are the landlord, can go into the home. Is this correct? 
Yes. Um, uh, something with salt, and salt is crystal. And if you instill love into the salt, which is a crystal, and as they walk on it, they the crystal will, will love will react with the crystals of who they are in their bodies. Mm-hmm. I have halite, which is very loving salt. There you yeah. go. Yeah. And if you are able to speak with her and she is receptive, um, I write love, gratitude, and compassion on the different shoes of people in my house without them knowing. <laughs> That's great. So that they're always walking in it. So. Well, I can at least start with outside the house. <laughs> Around the whole perimeter. Do they have dogs or cats? Yes, dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they are, you're able to, you could also write that on the inside of their collars. (laughs) Yeah. I will try all these things. If nothing else, you'll be chuckling as you're doing it, and that's good. (laughs) Yes. It's interesting. We've created a, a tremendous form here, and the intensity of it's growing as we hold our intent on this subject, not only for him, but for the, all the rest of the vets. So let's just let this continue to grow. This is the power of compassion. Here, the galactic wave behind it, so that galactic wave is taking it around the world. It has been placed in every continent of this earth, um, above the land and below the land, up through that, the Devic force is working that way too. Also, uh, been releasing the thought forms of the the memories of those events throughout the history and in the now on the properties where they wherever they've traveled on each continent and releasing and releasing and releasing those thought forms those old memories. You know, we would do well to do this with every meeting with some subject. Someone mentioned the chemtrails and, and, um, genetically modified seeds and things of that nature. So that's something we can do. So let's put that intent forward and take our break now and, and come back and do some healing work. Healing request. All right, we're back on it now. So, uh, welcome back, everybody. That was a massive attack. Um, Let's see if we can get a massive healing. Uh, we've, I, th- I think in the last hour we've done something very powerful there. Okay, we have a request from Diane Frazier. Uh, you want to help her mother, Reza, uh, in New Jersey. She has had two strokes and blood pressure won't go normal. 
Uh, and we also want to know what the energetic and the physical cause of the hypertension is. So let's slip into our healing mode. Take our awareness to Reza in New Jersey. Okay. When I tune into her, it it feels like she's had uh, a lot of family stress in the past in their relationship. It's almost well that kind of blood pressure, and that is caused from basically inner tension apprehension, fear, um, frustration, all those things of that nature. So if she's listening now, I'd like to take a flow to her and ask her to release, just let go of her life as it has been that has caused these hypertensive situations, that has caused the strokes. This is a... a, a, a caused by suppressing energy of emotion it becomes almost like a trauma so Reza what I want to do now is I want you just to go totally neutral and look back at your life and say I've done that I release that life now I'm no longer responsible for all those things that I had to care for and do the maintenance of the relationships just release those now. Let let them all go. It's a, and it's like stepping back, looking back, but stepping backward, backward into the future as you look back and let go of the past. Can you need to step back? Do you take your hands and push these patterns out of yourself as you step back away from them? Totally clear them. Let them go with the intent of moving into a new life, a new state of consciousness where you, where you're interested in in a, a positive, good, fulfilling life. Now turn and go to the future. It's like stepping through a a veil and as you step through just strip off the past move into a new reality where the high blood pressure does not ex- exist the strokes just feel a relaxation come over your entire body just just relax now feel that inner relaxation that was caused by the stress there's got a lot of energy around your root chakra. This is, is fear of survival energy. Flush that down into the earth. Let it go. Flush everything down the spine. It has fear frequencies. Close off. Close off to earth mind actually clear earth mind put a clockwise spiral down into the earth to clear earth mind of your stress and all the things that created your stress let it all go it's not who you are and Diane you need to do the same thing Diana use the clearing way techniques now to clear yourselves of stress Hypertension, create a new life for yourselves, and close to it. I'm going to bring in a healing flow of energy to you now. Your body may feel hot. As we adjust all your systems,
protect really your adrenals, your thymus. The power of the Christ is in us. We see both of you ladies in the perfect and normal condition. Okay. What do we have on the chat room? Any requests? Yeah, we've got uh, a couple of requests for the shadows, some uh, Cliff Richard and some uh, James Last. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Anyway, um, healing requests. Oh, this is sweet. Um, a little baby boy, three weeks old, that was born unassisted, born outside, only with his parents. Not breathing, no medical help for three days. He had pneumonia, worried about long-term health effects, and mother passed out and was given a blood transfusion. Wow, this is from Ojai, California. This is from Rachel, so um, uh, we'll tune in through your, through Rachel's knowing. Uh, Rachel, if you're familiar with the situation, we'll direct the energy to you and you correct it. Just bring in life force to the child and to the mother. And we, we're just bathing them both in light now so they'll come back and now we want to connect the mother to her life force <clears throat> It's just an interesting situation. you know anything more about the situation, Catherine, or uh, Rachel? There's something blocking us. Um, it's through my friend Susan that this is coming from. Um, and I just know that they were, like, um, living outside. Um, they just live outside. That's all I know. And that there was a serious situation with the child. Yeah, okay. Connected with the land. It's like they, we need to attract a support system to them because they felt so alone and so abandoned. That's what I was feeling. So we reach out into this surrounding environment, pull to them a support system to nurture and care for them. The mother particular so she'll feel loved and and nurtured. There, that's better. Okay, so it is. Anyone else? Oh, of course. Ah, right, so Arthur Melville needs another healing for his lungs and breathing. He has serious shortness of breath, and he's 81 in Long Beach, California, and he should live to about 2,000 if he lived in Long Beach, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah. I know Arthur well. He's one of my clients. So we shall do some work with Arthur. Arthur, if you're listening now, remember we initiated a youthening process in you. And I've been learning a lot more about that, too, everyone, so we can discuss that sometime. Arthur, we're tuning into your the telomeres on your DNA now. And the telomeres, the etheric telomeres are there. We want to bring back the physical telomeres that resonate with the DNA that sends the messages out to 
the rest of the system, the, the liquid crystal system, the message we want to send out is listening. I'm tuning into his breathing now. Arthur, take a normal breath. Let it out. Now this time, take a deeper breath. Feel the lungs expand about halfway. Let it out. Now we're going to bring total expansion in the lungs. Okay. All right, Arthur, you should be feeling better now. Main thing is to remember to, to keep yourself, your mind active, and don't look back. Keep looking forward and create something to carry you forward into life, to make life worth living. And when I worked with you, I was impressed in how, how you, active you were or could be we worked with that all right Arthur okay Marianne Ontario neck pain balanced serotonin and dopamine hormones All right, Teresa. Teresa, visualize yourself standing behind her now with your hands about a half an inch from her neck. Hands around her neck. Feel where that neck pain is. And energetically push with your left hand right in the center of your neck, pushing to the right Slide that disc back into place. We'll, we'll spin a new disc in there. All right, she has some pain down at the base of the neck, too. Those are more difficult to work with. That should do it. Balance serotonin and dopamine hormones. All right, we're turning into our system. Endocrine system. This has to do with her light and dark. Her light dark schedule has been disrupted. She needs to set herself ten hours in the dark and take melatonin when she does that, so she'll go right to sleep and then wake up, get up, so she has fourteen hours of light and do that habitually until these balance out again. So when she's waking up in the middle of the night and turning the light on like that, it's disrupting her system. So once she turns that light out, leave it out and, and use melatonin to get to sleep until her own systems come back into balance. Okay, very good. David Crusoe, healing for a newly developed problem with his lung. Uh, Dave Corso. Y yeah, that's her man. <laughs> Sorry, I thought you said David Caruso. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dave. 
I've been teasing you for years about your smoking habit, and I feel you're resistant right now is when I mentioned that it might be having an effect on your lungs. So I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to clear your lungs and bring them back into the normal state. But I want you to seriously consider stopping smoking. Okay, here we go. Then you do the same thing. I just draw a normal breath. Let it out. Now this time we're going to open the lungs up further because you do have onset edema there. Deeper this time, halfway. Feel them widening out to the side of your ribs. Now let it go. This time, breathe all the way to the bottom of your lungs and fill them all up. And I'm opening them up so you can. We're opening up those old ancient shriveled up black things into nice healthy pink lungs. Okay. And let us know how that does, Dave, and we'll, we do get to work with you three times a week. He's probably coughing up a few pieces of tar cakes or something. I hope he doesn't cough up half his lungs. They look black to me. Oh, yeah. That's what I mean. It, it feels like there's, like, um, it's like flakes, like um, your tarmac when it get, gets uh, hot and wet. And uh, just kind of flakes off the top of the road, you know. <laughs> that 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 is, uh, yeah. Come on, Dave. Use use some of your lungs for breathing. Meanwhile, I, I mean, it, it does give him that lovely kind of grungy uh, that sort of voice. You know, it just gives him the voice. But uh, anyway. <laughs> So, um, this is from Through Teresa. Uh, Bob Zanka. Oh, what a name. Ontario, Canada. Right, right shoulder, shoulder rotator cuff. And Cynthia, need right shoulder neck also. And me, and Dave, and you, and everybody. Please, what the heck's wrong with our shoulders, Frank? <laughs> Can we not shoulder responsibility or the burdens that we are given? Is that what it's about? Do we have to put no, our shoulders to the wheel? No, is you're not exercising them intentionally with weights or something to strengthen those those tendons, and they start to lengthen out a little bit, and they get sore and stretched, and then you've got rotator cup problems. So... Uh, I would recommend a, a program of getting a very light light barbell and, and exercise with it while holding that. Let's see, how can you do that? Strengthening the muscles and the tendons around that because it, it doesn't look to me like it's torn. It looks like it's just stretched out. You need to toughen those muscles and tendons up there by pulling it in pull it in now and hold it in while I do some healing on it here we go these are really hard to work with because they keep stretching them out again I'm going to put a field on this, a green field, so you can direct with your intent. Simply desiring it to heal and to tighten up, that field will help you to do it. It's like putting a, a signing a little 
diva there to work with you to hold this feel in place. That's what does it. I'm finding myself spontaneously raising my uh, <laughs> shoulders, raising my arms parallel with my shoulders, and then pushing up and in. And that's kind of repositioning my shoulders. That's weird. Uh, that's it. That's perfect. And never sleep with them, uh, your arms above your head. That's what pulls those, lengthens those out. Never sleep on your stomach. So those are. So here's from Diane. Uh, healing for my young friend Haley in Santa Clarita. Early 20s, multiple health issues over the years. Recently diagnosed with celiac disease and lupus. She's very strong hearted and loving, a natural healer, but she believes her health issues are God's will. Can I just ask one thing, and one thing only? Does she drink diet drinks? <laughs> Yes, I believe she does, JP. That will cure it. If she stops doing that, that she'll feel a lot better. Uh, really, 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 just drink water or Is something. Is that for the, the lupus or the what, Well, they call it all sorts of things, but it's it's aspartame poisoning. That's what they... That, you know, most... Why would a, a young, healthy person be ill? They're being yeah. poisoned. It's not allergy, yes. it's toxicity. Thank you. Okay. I'm sorry... Please forgive wow. me for for butting in like this, but it's like that. that the stuff causes mean. diabetes too. The the aspartame causes diabetes as well. <laughs> Cause I'm like, going to bring that up with her. I and I had that experience personally um, when I was really unhealthy. I uh, I was at uh, I was extremely heavy. My my feet started to swell up and uh, turn brown, and uh, I was borderline diabetic and. Uh, uh, yeah, the uh, the doctor gave wow. me a book uh, that talked about what aspartame does to the insulin uh, response in the body. It's it's it, the stuff is uh, it, it's it's it is it is actually uh, chemically altered uh, from the same ke- chemical compound as rat poison. Yes. Wow. Well, what about <clears throat> excuse me? What about um, uh, joint issues as well? She has very bad joints. Everything that, yeah. she, that is wrong with her is because of this crap. But be wow. you know, just 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 try it. Just to just say, hey, look, yeah. try it. If it stops, if you if it's going to kill you to give up, then it's going to kill you to not give up. And God didn't make aspartame. Certainly didn't. He That's didn't right. make the uh, bacteria that they are the feces, is the feces of. Anyway, um, I don't like to think about it too much. I just try to avoid it myself. It's just like that Simpsons episode. There was a, a Simpsons episode about this big bug creature that was pooting out stuff that they were selling as a drink. Guys, oh <laughs> that is Thank why people are you. ill. I'm sorry. That's why. That's why. The, yeah, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll stop. No, I love you. Uh, did you hear that they've changed the name now? They're not going to call it aspartame now. They're going to be calling it amino sweet. It yes, does I did find... see that. Like I Satan, did see that. they have to hide the name. Like Satan, because it goes it by so many much names. Better. Amino sweet. It sounds so natural. Amino. Yes, well, you know who was you know who was respons- pri- uh, primarily responsible or mightily re- responsible for that was the, uh, the CEO of GD Searle at the time, the illustrious. Donald Rumsfeld. Wow. Dr. Death. <sighs> so, yeah. It's, I am going to let her know about that. It's an extreme poison, and it's a slow poison, and it's killing our youth, and it doesn't make you thinner. It makes you fatter. Most people get fatter well, and think, oh, I must drink more of this diet drink because otherwise I'll get too fat. But they didn't realize that it's the drink that's killing them and making them ill. Well, how about if we work on their addiction to this belief, Frank? Maybe we can clear Thank their thoughts. Good idea. We need to uh, have an unadvertising, uh, un- un- unadvertising campaign for this stuff. Uh, well, wonderful idea. Uh, let's do a, a incredible thing here. I have not touched a a dozen times in my life anything even when they first brought saccharin out 
I could not stand that stuff. I would not put it in my mouth, even when I was a, a little kid. And uh, there's something in me that says, don't touch that. And right. Uh, uh, it, it, let's do something for the group mind consciousness here. Uh, let's just tune into the mindset of everyone in the world who drinks soft drinks or uses these artificial sweeteners, these chemical poisons as was so adequately described. Extend your awareness out to them. And from them, within their inner consciousness, put an attractant out into their field to attract to them the information that JP and Mike was just talking about that tells them what they're putting in their body so they will consciously be aware of the potential of what's happening to their bodies and then bring up from their subconscious mind implant the subconscious mind a revulsion for artificial sweeteners of any kind so that when they think about it, they remember the articles, the subconscious is triggered with revulsion of this poison in their systems. Extend that out and wave around the world now. Call in the galactic flow to amplify it. There we go. Good. Thank you. Our revulsion has been suppressed. You're right. Our revulsion has been suppressed. It's been numbed. That would be good. Sharpen that. Yes. How interesting. Uh, just thinking about it, I feel the revulsion. Revulsion is a part of compassion, and compassion has been suppressed in everyone. Now we're working through. We want to go. We've been through in the group mind. Now we want to go to the soul centers, the, the unified soul field of everyone in the world who is exposed to these chemical poisons. Indwelling soul. Give them the wisdom to refuse this stuff Now, this is not going to be a progressive thing. It can't happen instantaneously because we, so we will see this happening progressively for the next six months. Because they have to withdraw from their addictions and the companies have to adjust to produce eat something that's healthy. I 
And so it is. Feel the joy in the in the universal consciousness heart. What good work we're learning, guys. We can do this stuff. What about solutions, Frank? Here's a thought. Talking of the old saying, you uh, you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. You teach a man to fish, you feed him for life. There are many people out there who need food and really what they need is a home the whole thing they need food, water, shelter, etc I, I keep getting this idea that you know the, a massive wouldn't, wouldn't it be great wouldn't it be nice if the military instead of fighting wars went all over the world and came, kind of gave a, an apology pack <laughs> you know, right? just like here's a tent here's a house here's a village the, the, you see we see the armies going all over the world and building houses and, and recreating the world and, and giving people good seeds oh, boy, yeah. JP that sounds almost like Dominion well Go. no, it's just like this is how I'm feeling in my heart right now then you express it, and we'll push it on. So I'd like to I'd like to just put forward the idea that uh, instead of using armies to conquer the world, we use armies to feed the world. Uh, that we use all of our intelligence networks to find out who's hungry and who's in need, and we use our logistics networks instead of deploying bombs, we deploy food and. Uh, uh, resources and, and quick, cheap housing, um, concrete tents, uh, canvas tents, concrete canvas, um, yurts, everything that people need. We know the resources exist. We know the military has taken a lot of them. We know the elites have stashed a lot of them underground. Let's get them out into the world and feed the people and house the people. And then the people will then house themselves and create technologies for themselves and create, te create technologies for others and we become a world in dominion so that's how we can turn the military around because I'm sorry but uh, the US military has been in the last 50 years has been infiltrated and, and turned into an evil thing and the world sees it as evil so that's got to be turned around we've got to stop, stop whatever it is inside us that is making us needing to change others because of what we believe that goes all the way to you know uh, what, people are allowed to believe what they like really 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 it's fine and you, you, just because somebody believes something different standing next to you as long as they you know as long as we uh, achieve dominion that's all we need so a, a rambling a rambling yes, prayer we have thank you in Intent. So we focus now on the compassion from our hearts to send this resonance around the world. And our hands are heating up incredibly, so it's happening. Thank you, Galactics. What a wonderful idea. All of Dominion is based on simple, beautiful, empowering, nurturing ideas. Concrete tents are brilliant. They're, they're impregnated with concrete, and you set them up, and you spray them with water, and next day they're solid as a rock. They're a permanent building. Brilliant. And then there's they are cool. And then there's these other things that are like a yurt, that you know a, again takes a couple of hours. And then there's the mushroom buildings, which is basically uh, an inflatable that you spray concrete into the inside of, um, and uh, take away the uh, the inflatable, and you've got a dome. 
Um, all of these are really fast re- repopulation. Concrete, you know, uh, making little cabins. People like to live in round buildings. I think we should make little round domes for everybody. The technology is there. Absolutely. If if the military didn't use up all the money, the money would be there. That's right. And what about using um, old high-grade weapons technology to create uh, compact uh, domestic heating systems? So instead of it being exploded in one microsecond, it's very slowly uh, used as a fuel source for 20 years. And there's a thought. You know, ways of dealing with stuff. We've been talking about shungite as well. Have you heard of shungite, Frank? No. It's uh, a black material. It's a a form of carbon found in Russia. And it's it's the ultimate kind of absorbent. It's like a, like, it's a subtle energy absorber transformer. It's like, it's like, like natural organite. And it's a really, it's cool energy. Uh, it's a warm cool. I don't know how to say it. It just balances everything in its in in the room, and uh, you can put it on top of your computer, and uh, it'll uh, balance out the, uh, the the hard vibes on it. Mm-hmm. Well, everyone, we can welcome Joan back. Hey, Joan. Hello, hello. I made it back to Boise. And we are so happy. Well, do we have any other requests? Uh, right. Well, I'm, I mean, I don't <laughs> like. I I really went off on one there, Frank. I'm really sorry. Dude, that's uh, fine. Um, that's <laughs> perfect. I'm just wondering if you might want to actually have a look at poor Hallie, because <laughs> you know, I just saw that. I just went, oh, that's it. Yeah, it's like I'm making huge assumptions, and you but, know, you know, I'm sorry. I'm just really emotional tonight, Frank. Actually, I don't want to look at Hallie because if your suggestion, and and it was a wonderful suggestion, then it's up to her to to heal herself and the whole situation. Uh, Put the responsibility back on the person rather than doing it for them is the most powerful healing you can have. Okay, fair enough. Yes, I'm just going to bring it to her attention and find out if she is using the aspartame. Well, she isn't. Have her call JP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nope, she's already been uh, she's already been fixed because now she's not going to crave any of that anymore. So That's, I thank you. Very good. Yeah, very interesting to see to see the new form, and uh, I, it's uh, it's good to 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 see that form in thousands and thousands of teenagers because. Basically, they've been sold. You know, we were the first generation to be lied to, to be really lied to. When when JFK was killed, that was when the lie started, and we're the first generation, uh, m- well, my generation. You know, uh, we we started being brought up with the lie, and these children are, have been soaked in it. <laughs> you know, they they've been bombarded by it, all sides, um, and uh, a lot of them are starting to see it, but a lot of them are getting ill like this and this is just a symptom of what what is going in mm-hmm. well, we live in a world of toxins and it's yeah because people are being diagnosed as being allergic when actually they're not being allergic, they're actually having a toxic reaction. Mm-hmm. Yes. I agree, JP. Yeah. I, I mean, it, obviously it touched a nerve because uh, quite a few of you joined in here in the, uh, in the uh, Earth Mind Think Tank. I think it is really one of the symptoms, one of the main symptoms of the invasion uh, into our reality of some other force that is trying to persuade us to do something else other than, other than what we should be doing, kind of thing. Well, it's all money based, um, corporation based. When I was in high school about 60 years ago, um, 
the Mormon kids couldn't drink Coke because of the caffeine in it. Well, the Mormon church bought the Coke franchise and own the company now, and immediately it's okay to drink Coke. They can't drink coffee because of the caffeine, but they can drink the Coke. Yep. You see an oxymoron there? Oxymoron. Ha ha ha. Anyway. Ken, you haven't even to the floor ride in water. Well. I just heard an uh, idea about uh, the soda water. Like, soda has. Uh, the carbonation in it, and a friend of mine who is a holistic dentist uh, pointed out that, um, like, uh, reverse osmosis water has a pretty high acidic content, and so do mm-hmm. sodas, the carbonated waters. And he said, it's perfect business for me as a dentist because it uh, destroys the enamel on people's feet. So there's another reason why drinking sodas or as we refer to in Canada, as we call it, a pop, and uh, why we ought not to to drink it. And it also leaches uh, calcium out of our bones. Yes. Yeah. So, no thanks. I'm going to it's go for... Th- for removing rust off your bicycle, though. <laughs> yeah, if you want to clean a window... Uh, you know when you put sellotape on a window and you you know you, you stuck a poster to a window and you've got the mark there? Uh, Coca-Cola is great for getting that off and apparently for removing blood stains from roads. And apparently the highway patrol carry bottles of Coke in order to um, to clean the roads up after accidents and get the blood off. Grizzly, I know, but there you go. Yeah, just have a visualisation of what it's doing to your insides. Exactly, it's, it's it's eating away organic matter. You can put pieces of beef, they say, into coke and they disappear. You can put coins into coke and they disappear. You know, mm-hmm. one thing that they do say to regenerate teeth is to um, you you take a couple of spoonfuls of teaspoonfuls of uh, coconut oil, virgin coconut oil, and you swish it around inside your teeth. Um, and the idea is that the porous um, teeth uh, will accept the coconut oil inside and it re- will re it revitalizes coconut oil is very much like internal fluids anybody heard of that called oil pulling yes i have i've yeah. heard of that using uh olive oil you can use different kinds of oil but you have to do it for 20 minutes 20 minutes yeah. been doing it for yep. Ten years. <laughs> it's good. Oh, great, Julia. What's your experience? Yeah, well, actually, my experience is I just I'm I'm removing myself from group right now because my family's here for dinner. But I want to tell you that's the biological. I'm a biochemist, so I work a lot in the healing modalities. Putting is wonderful. You should all experience it. Do you do it for twenty minutes? Twenty minutes, but you know, someone for me doing it as long as I have, I do it. For or five or ten, I do it twice a day. It feels so good. You want to do it for a long time, and it tastes so good. And do you use coconut oil? Well, extra, extra virgin coconut oil, and and how it starts. Your gums love to be gently massaged or tap stimulated in a way, but then you get enough in your mouth, creates a secretion, and yeah, you just it's putting. You just kind of go back and forth in your teeth, and then spit it out. But I also, you know, rub it on my gums and swallow it after I'm done, even with that. So. It's wonderful. It takes all, it's antiviral, antibacterial. It rejuvenates the gum and it takes gingivitis away. And some of your better dentists now that are playing a little bit more on the integrative side will recommend it for gums. So it's really good. Well, I'm going to try it. I, I I, and I, I missed all of you tonight with a segment and I don't get to do my healing with Mike, but I, I will be on group to do that. And thank you all for tolerating me tonight. I'm going to go. Join my family. They're here. They're older, so of course they came in, and we're going to have some dinner. You, you guys have a great night. Bye. I, I personally recommend, from my old cowboy days, swishing this moonshine. It has a dual effect. It kills the bacteria <laughs> too, huh? <laughs>
So do, do tell us, Frank, what's the dual effect? <laughs> well, I used to make moonshine. Frank did in the olden days. Had that lots of wonderful uses. <laughs> and presumably you could use it for cleaning your uh, monitor screen on, the, on your computer. Oh, absolutely. And Frank, that brings me to the question and the, uh, the potential healing question, because in my little world, as I tell everybody, I live in a very small world, it's Dental Awareness Week. It happens every few months. Everybody to me says, oh, my teeth hurt. Oh, my teeth hurt. Oh, I've got a pain in my... Oh, yeah. Abscesses this week. Frank, uh, there are two guys here in, in, in town with us um, uh, who are complaining about having abscesses on their teeth. Um, and uh, I would uh, appreciate a bit of healing for my teeth, which are in a, a rather grave graveyard repair. And um, for everybody in the world, could we, could we replenish our teeth from the inside and make them all healthy again? Using these techniques that we now know, you don't use toothpaste. You, you, you know, well, I oil. would start with with your original good suggestion of using the coconut oil or something to get them good and clean and get all the bacteria out of those those pockets. And then there's no reason why we can't manifest manifest uh, calcium back into those holes, those pits in your teeth that cause the abscesses. We can do that. So first you do the, get them clean, then come back, and we'll we'll um, give you a new set of teeth. <laughs> well, right now. Well, or should we do it for the next show? Make sure that we all got clean teeth. I, I requested that you make sure you get them get the unhealthy bacteria out first, or otherwise they're going to be right in there underneath the new calcium that will manifest. See. Get sterile, and then you can do it. Now, my intuition is telling me this is possible, so I have no background for that except that we can do it. Well, since we can't do the teeth right this moment, why don't we look at working on people's gums? That's same, a good idea. Same, same problem. Oh. There is a lady who has uh, a company who sells, uh, she calls it tooth soap, and uh, she talks about a fellow from years gone by who's written a book on how to regrow your teeth and uh, how to clean them and how to restore that. I knew a healer in, in uh, San Francisco when we were there. That's what he did. He could regrow teeth, and uh, I went to see him one time and had a long discussion with him, and I know how to do that. Um, having thought about, about that for 30 years, but it, I know how he did it, and uh, with the levels of powers we're attaining now, we, it's a possibility. So it's worth a shot. Not now, later. I just posted a uh, short meme on uh, Facebook a couple of hours ago. Life is short. Smile while you still have teeth. <laughs> you know, because you know, personal. You know, I'm missing a, a front tooth. It broke when I was 15, and the and the the the, the root of it broke, and the crown didn't fit, and fell out, and da da da. Um, and and uh, so I have this great big gap in my front in my front uh, mouth now. Um, so you don't see many pictures of me smiling. Hmm. Which tooth is it? Uh, the, the right incisor. The top? Top right, yeah. All right. Everyone, just put your attention on JP's gap. Now we're going to go back in time, carry that that part of his jaw back in time to when he was in uterine growing the roots for those teeth. 
those reds were already there when he was born. And we're stimulating that one tooth, wrapping it in an energy field. Visualize it growing, lengthening, and it'll grow as fast as a baby's tooth does proportionally, so in six months you should have a new tooth. The etheric tooth is there, so what we're doing is simply remanifesting the etheric tooth. Okay, that's how the fellow in San Francisco did it. His name was Joseph Martinez. I still remember his name. He's quite famous. Oh, I'll keep you posted. I could feel it's a, it was actually a, a really distinct, you know, the feel. The, <laughs> there are feelings that you only get at the dentist, right? Mm-hmm. There are feelings that, you know, they touch parts of your nervous system that nobody else touches, right? Mm-hmm. And I felt one of those feelings oh, while you did that. And I saw a little, it's like a little blue vortex um, at the root of where my tooth would be, which is interesting because, oh, that's interesting, because there's a, it's been root filled as well. So mm-hmm. I, what it really needs to do is a whole new tooth to grow out and pop the, the, the bad root out. That would be the... Uh, the thing that would probably need to happen. So, well, you know, I don't discount it, and it would be cool. It would be really cool. It would be really, really nice. And thank you. No, uh, manifestation can manifest anything. It'll, it'll, it'll manifest right through the old tooth. It'll change it. Wow, I see it happening. Interesting. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Well, if that doesn't work, JP, what will help you out by pulling the other two so they'll have a match set up there. <laughs> Thanks, Frank. I always knew you were help. <laughs> okay. Bless your heart. So, uh... Any other requests? We're on a roll here. Exploring yeah. new territories tonight. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, so yeah. So that was. Um, oh, also Paul. Yes. Um, uh, my friend Paul. Uh, he's a local gamekeeper, and uh, he um, uh, he had something happen to his stomach. He had more, not an appendicitis, but uh, something uh, quite awful happens to his stomach so he's in hospital with a big hole in his in his belly so uh his name is paul muircroft and he's in elgin scotland okay do you know what uh, happening was um okay. i'll i'll find uh, yeah, it, was, it was on facebook let me just see if i can find um paul because it was a few days ago and i made a note of it what was uh, whether to ask for it um, ah, here we are. Uh, yeah, lots of people are telling me what's going on. Oh, suspended. Uh, uh, oh, that's right. Uh, he came in for a, ma- a suspended appendicitis, and um, he was under the knife for five hours while they chi- sliced and diced, cho- chopped and lopped, um, and uh, he's in the ITU in the high dependency. So I'm not, not sure exactly what happened, but he had obviously a more serious thing than just the plain appendicitis. Well, per- peritonitis, so he's got infection all through that system. So we will put our right hand over your own appendix site. Only we're on the pole. We direct healing. 
Again, we talk directly to the organisms of infection and we encourage them to not multiply. They no longer can multiply in their short life cycles. They quickly quickly disappear. I think they put a screen in there too and that's going to be a problem but we'll will the screen to be effective and not cause more problems he's a big tough man he can handle it It's really hot. Put lots of compassion into it. See it in the perfect and normal condition. Sustained, sustained, sustained. Mike, how's your condition doing? Are you about out of the woods? Well, um, I just had, um, I had two scans on Monday. I don't know the, or excuse me, Friday. I don't know the results yet, but, uh, I'm presuming that we continue to progress. Okay. I'll, um, I'll let you know when I get a reading, but I think we just have to, uh, send out the mind power that it's, it's, uh, shrinking and going away. Yep. Okay, everyone direct their attention to Mike. He had, had cancer of the colon, which was removed. So he's extended his entire system. The desire to clear any resonant or remnant mental emotional cause for the condition. Uh, it's flushing with light, Mike. Can you feel it? Yep. Good. It's a good thing we did that. Wonderful. Through the power of the crisis in us, we see Mike's entire system in the perfect and normal condition, as best as it can be. Thank you, everybody. We're about there, JP. That's about right, Frank. Thank you very much, everyone. For uh, it was that's an awesome show. So thank you so much, Frank. And uh, let's uh, find where's your outro. Oh, there, there it is. <laughs> here we go. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. We can stay on here.